This is Subnautica Below Zero. A survival oh, mixed with oh. horror mixed with, oh God, what is oh. that? I have never played Subnautica. I've never watched anyone play Subnautica. I don't know anything about it other than water and bad. And thanks to my lovely viewers, I'm spending the next 100 days in this apocalyptic oceanic hellscape. My goal is to survive, complete the story, and kill a Leviathan. Yeah, that thing. The big monster of doom in the water there? Yeah, that's a Leviathan. And that is, and that one is, and I'm boned. Join me on my adventure as I get the shit scared out of me and try not to develop the lassophobia. This is Subnautica 100 Days. Below zero. Because people told me to play that one. If you're mad about it, yell at me in the comments or just tell me to go play the other one after this. I mean, I don't know, man. Fucking whatever. Let's just start the video. You are ludicrous if you think I'm playing hardcore when I've never even touched Subnautica before. No, nope, this is gonna be one of my only 100 days filled with deaths. So many deaths. And here we are, Subnautica. You'll soon realize that I don't care too much about the story per se. I'm just here to do some exploring in the Oaken. I'll probably just make up my own lore about what's happening. But immediately, I fell out of space and landed in 4546B. Right off the bat, I started freezing to death and was tasked with finding a drop pod. Why they couldn't have dropped me in the water to begin with, I don't know. I made my way swiftly to the drop pod and day one had officially begun. I was trying to get my bearings. Swimming made me disoriented in the beginning of this, but I'm sure I'll eventually get used to it. I grabbed a boomerang fish just out of the water, like yoink, he's mine now. He's my friend and I'm naming him George and I will never lose him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've grown attached to the first thing I saw on this island, all right? He's my best friend. Swimming too far to the right pissed off the locals and they froze me. The bastards. Afterwards, my PDA lit up with the location of the emergency supply cache. I went off to it and took the bare minimum resources that I was given from the cache. New creature Bladderfish! Bladderfish! Does that make... Dude, could I make like a... Ooh. Ooh, am I getting Minecraft vibes? Hold on. Septech. Water, bladder fish, making water, ocean out of piss, let's go. The game then told me that my next step was cooking George. Excuse me, this is my friend. I would never do that to a friend. I cooked this bladder fish instead. And that was about it for day one though. Very disoriented, just didn't know what I was doing, but trying to get my bearings of living in Subnautica. I spent all of the six minute night trying to learn how this damn UI works figure out the fabricator and the lore and then not care about the lore from the PDA because it really isn't helpful. But a very disorganized day one is complete. Day two, my fabricator crafter wanted me to make a scanner and knife. I found the ores around the drop pod to do so and I made me a basic knife and scanner to learn about my surroundings. I spent the bulk of this day just scanning everything. Doing this made me some blueprints based off the fragments of things that I found. While searching, I got the first indication that all was not well. What the fuck was that sound? Sir, sir, don't ever make that noise at me again. I, what did I just say? Oh, fuck you, dude. I don't know who you are, who you think you are, but I got a hoop fish and I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. While scanning all my new shit, I found fragments to a machine called a Sea Glide. Look, I, I know a lot of you guys know what this is, but if you've never played any of the Subnautica games like me, that's new. So I scanned the Sea Glide and I'm gonna go make one. Day three, I got enough resources to get an oxygen tank as well, letting me stay in the big blue for much longer. I also made fins for my wetsuit to swim faster. And after finding three Sea Glide fragments, I'm able to build a Sea Glide of my own. That's kind of the main mechanic of this game. You find enough fragments of something, now you learned how to build it. I don't know, it, it works. The sea glide makes me go zoomies in the water, and I need that because the fish started to fucking explode. Oh, you're angry. You are explosive. You're a fucking explosive fish. Yeah, all right. No, this is good. No, I like that. Okay. You actually end up needing to loot those fish dens whenever they go boom to get some sulfur. And with the silver in this same cave, I made a repair gun. I don't know why yet, but the game was screaming at me to do so, so I did. I also made pipes and a floating pump because I'm a slave to this game's tutorial. Day five is scan and research day. It's the only way to make any progress in this game. Just scan, learn, scan, learn. Don't actually read what you learn. Scan, learn. That's how it works. Until... All Terra beacon signature detected. Unique identifier, Delta Station Dock. Eh. Delta Station. This is the place oh. Will mentioned in her message. Ah, the game's like, eh, hey, you've wandered around enough. We have decided to give you lore. 
The game basically went, hey, I'm here, go play me. So I set off towards the marker and made it to an island with a dock and a lot of fancy shit to scan again. I could make a coffee vending machine. Caffeine free coffee? What kind of bullshit? <laughs> and I can make a thermos. Okay, good. Now we're learning. Basically scan everything that looks important. Welcome to the scan simu- Ooh. That's just water. You know how many bladder fishes I could just like grab out of the fucking ocean and then shove into a machine that will laser them into water? That's not that cool of a reward. Hypothermia oh fuck, you're right. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I need to stop being an asshole and play this game properly. An audio log on the island warned me of trespassing, but I didn't give a shit. I made my way off to explore this new island and all the technology left behind. Parkour. Nope. <laughs> fuck. On the way, I found the blueprint for a mineral detector. And wrapping up day five, I actually ended my recording because I was gonna go make lunch because I hadn't eaten all day. And turns out that was a huge fucking oops because right after I hit the end record button, I got jump scared by someone. I instantly turned back on the recording to capture my reaction oh, of the rest of it. Right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I literally stopped recording for four Altera. milliseconds. What the fuck are you? Then your position is doubly precarious. Uh, okay. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Why the fuck do you have power armor? That shit was wild! I want that! That's way cooler than the fucking bladder fishes! Fuck! The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. You fucking think?! Signal location uploaded to PDA. What the fuck? Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so cool. Holy shit, how do I screenshot? D F1 did not do it. Uh, Windows G. No, that doesn't work. I want... Fuck it. Editor clips, because I'm editing this one. Grab a screenshot of the coolest looking moon planet thingy ever. It's going to go in the thumbnail. Woo! Fucking shit. <laughs> also, I want to make the mineral gun, but I guess we're going to go to the last known position of the pilot first. Detecting stone of an astronautical salt transcode. No, up, no, you're not. You're not detecting anything but my ass going home. <laughs> hey, ho, big, large. <laughs> Large individual, a fucking massive lad. Okay, they said the game would be kind of scary, and I was like, oh, it's underwater Minecraft. That's uh, no, it's not. So, back from the kitchen, yes, the panini I made was delicious. I found out that I didn't have anywhere near the amount of air needed to go back down to the pilot's last known location. I, I, I think we need better oxygen before I can go the fuck down there. Oh, and maybe new pants for I have shitted. So after some failed attempts, I went back to my pod, which wasn't too much of a problem because I don't have a lot of space left in my inventory anyway. That, however, does cause a problem because my dumbass hadn't learned how to make storage containers yet. I had to use these underwater storage containers that hold like four fucking items and just throw them outside because they don't, they're not allowed to sit in the underwater pod because God forbid they're made to be underwater. You can't put them in the pod. It's jank. It's stupid. Whatever. I named one of my lockers Cocker because I was so upset about it, but it works. We have some kind of storage. End of day six, I headed deeper into this green cave and found some silver and proudly made myself a compass. Yes, it's taken me till day fucking six to make a compass, but uh, now I have a sense of direction. And with that, we go off to search for the high O2 tank. That's great. Oh, that was not enough. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. There it is. Remaining. Holy shit, I found the thing. I gotta go back up, but I found it. With this compass, I can finally get my bearings of navigating the world. The Sea Glide does give me a map, but I find it really shitty to use, so I must confess. From here onward, for the sake of not being stuck looking for one thing for hours on end, I do sometimes go to the wiki for help. This isn't like block game where I know everything and I know what everything is and what's important. I'm flying blind here. 
So I used the wiki for a bit of hand-holding to make this adventure flow a bit smoother. I'm not spoiling things for myself or anything, just small stuff like learning the High Oxygen 2 tank is in the Twisty Ridges Cave. Which are these weird fucking spirally things, by the way? I, I, it, it doesn't tell you. I also need more silver, so I'm keeping an eye out for that. These are just obelisks? You're telling me the game has nothing to say about the mysterious magic obelisks? You're telling me there's nothing special about the mysterious fucking creepy ass scary obelisk in the ground? You're telling me you got nothing to say about that, Mr. Scanner? That's it? Thank you. Warning. 30 Very seconds fucking helpful. Oxygen. Even with the wiki's help, it's still so hard to see and grab blueprint fragments when you can't stay underwater for a long time. I might also be in the wrong spot for the O2 tank, but who fucking knows? It's so confusing down here. I did, however, find the rebreather, so it wasn't a total loss. Day eight, no oxygen two tank, but I got the silver I needed to build said rebreather, and I'm dying of thirst, so I need more bladder fish. Does... Cool, I've renamed this thing Cocker. Very great. Can I open it now and eat, and eat the things inside? Seek fluid in I know! There's no piss fish around here! Ending the day, I made the mineral detector, even though finding ores never really was a problem for me in this game. I, it's still just nice to have, though, I guess. Day nine, I see no other way to progress, so I'm heading back to the pilot's last known location. I made myself a high cell battery and tried to clear out my inventory, but I had literally no fucking storage, so I built another cocker. Oh, this cocker. is getting ridiculous. Just give me storage lockers. Why don't I start with normal chests? This is dumb. Whatever, I set off back to the ping. All right, onward we go. What is happening? What is falling from the sky? Cause that damn sure is not rain. What are you? Can we get a hurricane? Can I get picked up by a hurricane? Look at the moon. Why is it so pretty? I don't ever get to see it though because the sky is pissing aqua. It's pretty. It's blessed. Chambers deep on the ocean. It does fucking nothing. Next. Oh, the aurora bore. Ah! Oh, that's so sick. Dude, that's so pretty. That's so fucking gorgeous. And the aurora borealis is gone. Oh, hey, dude. Yo, you come here often? Yeah! Assessment, avoid, but can be handled in a pinch. Aye, aye, avoid, I'm really good at that. Hmm. I went back to the last pilot location thingy, and with the rebreather, I could swim deeper without diminishing my oxygen. I dug low enough to find a piece of the sea truck that will be super helpful later, and a piece of the ultra oxygen tank, which doesn't help me because I need the other one, but I'll keep it in my back pocket for now. And after looking around for a bit, I left. For, for no reason in particular. <laughs> I just, I left, and you know, got bored. Needed, <laughs> needed to escape. There didn't, didn't get scared or anything. Has I, away and hey! The oh, 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 shit! No, 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 no! No, no! No! What the fuck? Fuck you! 200 meters down? Now we going uppies! Now we going the biggest uppies! Get the fuck out of here! Why am I drugged? I'm I'm fucking smoking fish. I got high off of smoking whatever that was, and I can see colors and hear God. No. Oh, I just wanted an oxygen tank, man. Fuck off. No, no, no. I'm going. Um, I'm leaving. I'm not coming back. No. Nope. Uh, uh. Day ten, and I'm living like Larry. That is to say, in a bunker in the bottom of the sea with a fish eating and pants shitting. As I'm hiding like a bitch back home, I took the time to find out where the damn oxygen tank is. See, this is why the wiki's important. I thought that I found its location in the twisty ridges, but it still eluded me. Sea truck synthesized, boys. Now, if only we could find the mu What are you? No. Yeah! We could make a buildy wildy woo! I'm, if that's not. How you build the base in this game? I'm jumping off the lack of buildings. We unlocked the game. <laughs> That's exactly what this feels like. I just, I, we, we just unlocked the game. I feel like I paid thirty dollars just to be yelled at for three hours until they were like, "Okay, you can have the game you bought." Thanks. Oh, I could make a sign. <laughs> And finally, by the end of day 10, I went back down, found the spot for the high O2 tank, and I was thrilled. Finally. 
That is what I was looking for. Look how much seconds that I have. Actually, how much? How how long can I breathe underwater now? With the rebreather as well, so it doesn't deplete. One thirty-two. One thirty-two. Day eleven, I made glass. You know what? You 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 know what to put in, EQ. You know you know what bird. You know what bird that haunts my brain. And I made lead. This has really just become a resource scavenger hunt, but fuck me, now I'm short on silver. I need silver to make a computer chip, to make a mobile bay, to make that water truck. Sea truck, whatever. I quickly found some silver, made the mobile bay with the parts that I had, and... Sea truck. Ta fucking diddly da. Trucking. Oh, look at that. It looks like there's only half of one. It looks like it's half of a thing. But that's a sea truck, fuckers! I'm in! I'm in, I'm... I'm not in. Don't know how to enter. I'm in a sea truck, bitch! Oh, we go fast! Okay. Oh, you look horrific! Oh, you! You look fucking terror. No, 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 no! You do not jump at me! No, sir! Nope! I'm out! I need in the truck. I need in the truck. How have I still not found this one fucking thing? 30 seconds of oxygen. I know! I'm well aware there's only 30 seconds of oxygen. Thought I'd be safer in the in the sea truck. Thought thought that would protect me more. Nope. Also, even with this thing, this is the fourth time I've been to the pilot's last known location and I still can't find the fucker. This ends up being one of the overarching problems I have with this game as a whole, but I'll talk about that more later. For now, I'm getting nauseous just swimming in circles looking for where the last known pilot fucking ended up. The day wasn't a total loss though, cause I found a secret pocket of gold and silver near my drop pod. Day 12 and enjoy an entire day's worth of speed up looking for the last pilot's known location. Maybe I'm directionally challenged, but I can't seem to find it. I had to look up videos that tell me to look for glow sticks in the water that leads you there and for the life of me I've got nothing and it's really starting to piss me off but before I threw myself into the ocean in real life I finally managed to locate it holy Didn't shit. I tell you to stay away no From what I don't even know who you are Marguerite made is the name you're on my turf great can I come in and warm up what part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. I need an entrance. Apparently, someone made a base down here. And that someone is named Ma Mog Magritte? Magret? Uh, mm, and she looks something like this. Hello, puppy. Oh, fuck off. Hey! I told you to stay off my land. I, uh, I... You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not, Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. Oh, you're gonna fetch quest There's me some after this on that shit? Table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Margaret, Margaret, fuck, gave me a quest line to take out the broadcast tower that's been spying on all of us from Altera. Remember how I said I don't care about the story? I don't. That's just where we have to go to progress. But finally, since I found this fucking place and now have a builder, I can finally make better storage. Also, I found lithium, which is apparently really useful, so we're pocketing that too. Day 13 through 16 is one of the first big day clumps. I'm basically doing the same thing over the course of multiple days, so instead of repeating myself, I'm just gonna clump it all together for you. Trust me, it's way more entertaining this way. Basically, from day 13 through 16, I wanted to move out of that shitty drop pod and into a proper home. I found some table coral in that last cave, and with it, I can make a builder tool. This tool will be used to build everything, including fucking storage lockers. 
Finally, no more floating cockers in the sea. I made a little 4x4 four four room to start things out before I realized that I did it wrong and had to rebuild everything. Yay. I also ate my only health pack by mistake because I'm just so good at video games. And I spent the days learning how building works in this game. It's definitely a little different. Things can't be connected to other things if items like the fabricator or storage crates are even in the near vicinity of where you want to build. Also, rocks, boulders, and the rest of the terrain can't be moved, so you better pick a very spacious spot. I decided to base near my drop pod because we're in the shallows and it's the safest. It means more swimming to deeper places later, but not getting eaten by a leviathan when I step out on my front lawn. Your water pool? Fuck it, metaphor's dead. With all that situated, and now that my chests aren't bursting at the seams, it's time to go pick up an upgrade at the Kappa Mining Site. Or at least that's what the wiki says. I don't, I don't fucking know. The Kappa Mining Site is somewhere east of the island dock, according to said wiki, and with that vague tip, I set off to search for it. It didn't take me very long, and once I made my way down to the sea truck, I spotted Ruby lying on the floor. So I got out and decided to just continue on Flipper from here. The mine even had some diamonds that I picked off the walls, but there was this crazy deep hole in the middle where it looks like people had been drilling and mining. I took it as a sign to leave because I wouldn't have enough oxygen and wanted to get better shit before exploring, but nope, you're supposed to venture forth. So fuck me, I guess we're swimming down. In this cave are prawn suits, and if we scan four of them, I'm able to build one of my own, which is gonna be really important for the rest of this. So I found them all and got enough scan to make the blueprint of the suit. However, I didn't pay enough attention to my oxygen levels and I started to run out of air. Fuck yeah. Sorry, I do not have the ability to go any deeper. That was, we were pushing it. Okay. To make it, we need plasteel, which is that lithium we got earlier, and five titanium. So I made the prawn suit, but to power it, I need two power cells. Those cost two batteries each. In fact, for the rest of this project, I'm gonna need a fuck ton of batteries. So much that it eventually gets annoying, but whatever. Again, I'm getting ahead of myself. I like this game, Subnautica fun. The end of day 18, I made the prawn suit, and oh, oh mama, now we're getting somewhere. It's not as cool as Mag Mag Fuck. You know what? I'm just gonna give them a different M name every time because it's too hard to say theirs. It's not as cool as Mandarin's exosuit, but it's a start. Day 19. Day 19 and Mandolin wants us to take out that satellite tower. To do that, though, we're gonna need a laser cutter. The game says nothing about this to me. I, if I... Uh. Fucking amazing. The game says nothing about this to me. If I didn't have the wiki, I'd be utterly lost. So we've got our new goal. Let me fuck it up. Inactive volcano detected nearby. Inactive volcano. Well, good. Be concerned if... Oh, I found it. I found the volcano. The volcano. Oh! 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 Fuck! No! I'll be leaving now! I didn't mean it! I will leave your inactive volcano, I promise! Ha! Oh, ha! Oh, fuck you! I just wanted an arctic cave! Jesus Christ! What the fuck was that thing? Why does it sound like there's 50,000 of them? The ocean was quiet a minute ago! What is this down here? I should not go out to look at it, but I'm doing it. Oh my god, is that a bed? Hey, things suck currently. This, hey, I'm just saying that looks a little bit active to me. I'm just, I'm just saying that looked a little active. Ha! Ah, there's the second fragment for the laser cutter in an active volcano. I fucking finally found you! In a whole different cave! I can build a laser cutter now! Son of a bitch! And after that bullshit, I made the laser cutter, and now I need more fucking batteries! While getting the batteries, I decided to learn a little bit about what Altera was doing. Apparently, they think they found an alien. Hey, wait, wait, hold, wait, hold on. When did you get here? Alien distress call origin. Alien. There's just there's just an a, there's just an alien. He's, he's I read a little bit about it. 
but not enough. Maybe I should sit here and read. Hold on. I know a couple things to read about alien. I can't shake the feeling. This planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can, but I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. So there is an alien frozen in ice. And apparently they are very distressed and that is their call of such. I'm sure that's not important. <laughs> of course not. But you know what is important? Oh yeah, fucking batteries. I brought a couple extra of the prawn suit and all my tools, because if they run out while I'm underwater, I'm pretty screwed. So I prepped enough so that wouldn't happen. Going to go to the alien. Well, I guess our good friend Monolith has to wait a little longer for that tower to be taken down, because my PDA is now pointing me to the said alien signal, and after weighing the options, cool alien of high-tech bullshittery beats laser pointer and tower any day. Day 23, I found the source of the distress signal. A crazy architect ion-based structure in a cave I could just barely reach with the prawn's depth ability. And as my character is taking in the sights and the stories trying to be oh, all dude, mystical, I had to, of course, ruin this moment by getting myself stuck oh, in a no. rock. Storm no joke, I, hey, I can't alien. move here. Hey, alien, I need a bit of help. Hey, alien, hey, <laughs> fucked up, fuck, fuck, <laughs> um, hey, really great story about you needing storage to like become whole and be the alien or whatever but like <laughs> fucked it okay i'm free i'm free <laughs> how long have you been stored here longer than you warning sanction power critical our data can be downloaded from the terminal we may speak more once the transfer is complete Yes, okay. Hurry. What if this thing's about to kill me? Like, I, I don't know why I'm fully trusting you. Oh, you're terrifying. Oh! What's happening? We're dead. That's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Transfer complete. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're insane? Oh, right God here? damn it. You have identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered, I offered my, my PDA. PDA. Get out. Oh, oh no. damn it. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? A little my bit. is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Oh, cool. We just have an alien in our head now. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go hide in a corner. Cool. That's good. All I wanted, my man, was just some cool sea adventure. I didn't need to get an entire alien downloaded in my cerebral cold cortex. Just want to say, this wasn't ice. Like, like we read about the thing being ice. This was not it. Oh well, on to the rest of day 23. When I got back to my pod, I received my very first phone call. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm getting a phone call from my brain. We understand this arrangement is undesirable. Yeah, what's up, dude? You're not real. Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? Um. Anyway, like I said, I'm stuck with his ass, and he wants me to help him make a body. Nah. <laughs> Headmates, am I right? Day 24 through 27, yes, we're on our next bulk of days, because I'm trying to find the sunken ship. It has what we need for Mario's next quest. And because I'm playing Subnautica, I spent a few minutes and found it no problem, right? <laughs> right? No. 
No, this is how trying to find the spaceship POI went. I'm actually upset that I didn't do this. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Entering ecological dead zone. The prospect for survival is fast approaching what? zero. What do you mean? How come no one warned me there was an ecological dead zone? I, I feel like that should, maybe should be like a map function that says, oh, hey, don't go in the ecological dead zone. What the fuck did I just hear? No, 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 thank you. No, 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 no. Hello. Hello, comrade. No, you're not a comrade. You're going to come in my rad. Oh. Damn, you got a mouth on you. All right, see so you. Really, we just. I'm, I'll fuck off. Like I promise. Jesus Christ! No, why is that one from this side? I did manage to find a cache that I've already looted, so it's useless. And hey! And fuck! There it is. Finally found it. This was at the point I decided to wrap up for the day, guys. All in all, I became kind of hooked. This has been a lot of fun. This is my first full day ever playing any bit of Subnautica. And with only minor complaints at the end of day 27, after nearly 10 hours of playing, I was loving this game. But that would soon change as we move on to day 28. I am removing the door's testicles so I may access the inside of the space boat ship. I broke into the ship and in there I found tons of batteries and power cells. Because, you know, after I spent multiple days on and off making batteries, now they're just given to me. <sighs> Alan sent me some dumb shit lore about the people that died in this place. I, I don't well, care about it. I'm here life. for the disruptor fragments. But I was forced to listen to it anyway, and let's just say the conversation got colorful. He can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch what? of traditional Grecian dishes. But the craziest part? He managed to make a suitable falafel from You me. can make better food. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. Okay, well, I gotta learn how to jailbreak a fabricator because I'm sick and tired of eating fucking boomerang fish and bladder fish. I am done eating piss fish. Go. Copper wire. Cut open supply. Oh, this might be it. You might have the secret one. Reactor rod? What the fuck is that? Day 29, I looked around everywhere, but since sleeping, my monkey brain forgot that I could scan things with the scanner in this game, and I was clearly passing up on some of the fragments. They looked like this guy here, and I ended up finding two of the three I needed once I remembered, oh yeah, scanny go worky. I wasted a long time looking for the last one, because it's actually on a different piece of the spaceship that broke off during the crash. So, for now, I went back home to drop off all my goodies because my inventory was full. And pause. Editor EQ here. It's come to my attention that you can outfit the sea truck with other modules that make it like a portable base. I figured this out way later in the project, but it is with great pleasure that I can tell you that I never do that in this video and only ever really found everything I needed to make that, like the fabricator module and stuff like that, when I had like f a few days left of recording. So if you want to yell at me for not being a master of Subnautica in the comments, uh, go ahead, throw your bitch fit. I know I've disgraced the Subnautica community and I just wanted to point that out there. Okay, back to the video. Day 30, I'm heading back to the ship's site now. Oh! Woo! I dodged one for once! Fucker! It's been seconds! Fuck off! What? 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 Why? Why have I been eject relegooted? No! Fuck this game sometimes, man! I found the second ship section and lasered my way in, explored all the tunnels, grabbed the tons of nutrient blocks and copper wire, ignored the underlying story, and got my last fragment piece to get the fuck out of here. Day 31, I'm off to start making pocket. Alan a new body to get him out of my head. He pointed me to this weird pylon-looking thing, and it seemed like he liked it. Then, Alan tried to lore dump on me, but the government had other ideas. That might date this video, but who cares? I found it funny. They're not even connected, and that changed the whole strength. You, this is a completely different like structure. They're not even together. 
Day 32, and I really hate the fucking build mechanics of this game. They don't feel as intuitive and freeform as I'd want them to be for being in the ocean. I spent today and the next day making a moon pool and sea truck dock, but instead of talking about that, I'm just gonna bitch about the building system. Go, building system, right? It's so picky where you can and can't put stuff. Like, why can't I break rocks if the little grundle of a rock is gonna stop me from putting fucking slabs of metal next to my other slabs of metal that I call a home? Why don't the moon pool and sea truck dock connect? Like, what the fuck? Now I need more energy, so fucking just stick a ton of solar panels on top of this thing, I guess. <sighs> I was told later that you could use, like, thermal reactors and stuff, but why the fuck would you even want to whenever solar panels work just fine? <sighs> okay. Got that out of my system. Whatever. Today, I also let my Discord members name my sea truck and prawn. By the way, shameless plug, if you want to have a say in the dumb shit that I do, join my Discord. Link in the description. The base was nearing completion at the end of day 33. Sea bitch. I got the, the top three. We're going to roll a dice for whoever gets it. The sea man <laughs> or fucking Uber ride. Also, I'm doing all this editing live, so I don't have to actually edit it because I'm a lazy fuck. So here we go. I've got a D4 right here. If it lands on four, we'll re-roll. I dropped it. It's on the floor. It landed on one. All right, baby. All aboard the sea bitch. With an exclamation point. The sea bitch. All aboard, pilot sea bitch. It is hot fucking pink now, baby. You are slowly becoming a more and more needy girlfriend, Alan. I, you, I just wanna go build my house. I don't wanna go fucking fix your artifact bullshit. I just, I'm thirsty. Let me drink some water first, fuck. Day 34, however, Alan decided he needed to phone in his favorite pen pal. We ended up naming the prawn the semen, because my entire Discord server has the same humor as me. That is to say, a child's. And day 35, side quest complete. We're back in business. It's time to go for that tower. With all the parts needed to build the override module, I built it and the parallel processing unit. Stuck them together, and now I'm ready to take down Altera's satellite tower. Um, that is an active volcano, sir. Sir, this, this volcano is very active. Oh, look, lithium. Grab it. There is a currently a volcano erupting. Yeah, we're just gonna just keep on going. Keep on trucking. I, pro I think I have like four hinges. This is a problem. I don't think I'm in the right place. Diamond? F bruh. Guys, I just mined for diamond. <laughs> this shit's rare as fuck. <laughs> Slight detour because Alan took me back to an active volcano for another hex playset. The cave did have diamonds and rubies though, so I pocketed them. Inventory was full again, so I went home and built the prawn drill to go to the tower. Uh, no, nope. yes sir. Alan's yes, got another sir. artifact for me to find. Okay. Thanks, Alan. Oh God damn it, Alan! You needy ass motherfucker. You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant importance. You are a bitch, Alan. I just want to make batteries. We fucking shut him up, though. We were like, yeah, Alan, you've been telling me for the next, f like, the past four hours that some important shit's happening, and we don't know what it is, but we should go look at it. Fuck you, Alan. We're going. No, I don't want to upgrade it further. Okay. Let's go find Alan's dumb, stupid artifact that's 1,300 feet away, and I'm pretty sure this is the direction of doom, but all right, Alan, I trust you. I really just want to take down this fucking tower at this point. <sighs> Look, guys, I can drill quartz now. Yay. I wonder if this drill is strong enough to drill Alan out of my head. Alan took us to a place that was just above the max depth that my prawn could handle, so I had to swim the rest of the way down for him to get his rocks off on the crazy glow stick party in the sea. Then I headed back to my prawn and disaster struck. Let's go, I guess, give Alan a new fucking thing. What? F what? Ah. Uh, duh. Duh. Ah! Ah! No, thank you! No! Um! I hear it behind me. I fucking hear it behind me. Oh god, don't drown. So, I fucked up. The prawn slid a little bit into the hull damage zone, and I blew it up and had to remake it with all the bells and whistles and augments it had. Only problem was, the booster one needed a material that I couldn't find yet, so we're riding without that for now. 
name this prawn the Salad Daddy. If you want to know why, go check out my second channel, Eclipse Again. Man, I'm just plugging all over the place today. What do I do? Oh yeah, Ancient Body Cache. Probably should go do that. That's a good point. Sorry, I was distracted because I blew up my prawn! One good thing to come from it was that while scrounging for more resources to build the Salad Daddy, I found the first piece of the grapple arm, which is by far the most important upgrade to the prawn suit in this game. And here's the other one now, so all we need to do is make it. Upgrades don't stop though, because right here's the schematic for the water filtration suit. And then I did this. Only had two hands. So if I show the bomb to this chick, do you think she'll be like, wow, you actually didn't fucking suck? Let's go say hey. Um. Uh oh. Oh, I've done it. Ah, uh, the solid. I Tell called me, the game solid. And the game was like, let me show you how liquid I am and broke. Um, and if anyone wants to look at my stream, how invisible is this wall? How, how high does it go? Oh, uh, it goes the entire way. No, I totally did break the game a little, though. <laughs> I'm drowning in nothing! Wait a minute! <laughs> My passive proct, everyone. My apologies. I wrapped up the day with the reactor fragment and the ultra capacity tank 2 piece. So now, I should have everything I need to venture even deeper into the ocean. Yay! That sounds fun, and not at all piss pants inducing. Are we taking down that tower yet? Day 41 with the prawn suit upgrades and my wetsuit, I can travel even further into the depths. And this crazy amoeba mushroom cave is about 500 meters down. Alan directed me here because he's got another lime green glow in the dark play set from Hasbro and he wants me to scan it. So I do and then I head back to the surface when something dawns on me. I'm dying of thirst. Fucker. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally dying. Son of a bitch. Where does my prawn go if I die? That's the worst thing to hear. I'm so far down. Better not just stay here. Oh no, come on, no, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> you died and lost some belongings, what did I lose, why can't I just go get them, what did I lose? It better not have been important. Everything! I lost, like, everything. Oh my fucking god! My first death. Honestly, thought it would come sooner. But when you die, your prawn stays down there, and without the stuff needed to make the blueprints for the modification station, I can't make the better oxygen tank. Why don't I have the modification stuff? We'll get there in a minute. I'm still not at the tower. My prawn happened to be the only thing that can actually go down that far. So, day 42 through 46, welcome to Operation Save Salad Daddy. As said before, I don't have enough oxygen to swim down to him, and I really don't want to have to build another prawn suit. The plan is to continue the story and find a modification station at the Delta Station, to make the ultra-capacity oxygen tank and then be able to hold my breath for longer to then go save Salad Daddy. So, yes indeed, we're finally taking down the damn satellite tower. But before I even get one fucking second to breathe, I will fuck your ass, Alan. No, no, we're fucking busy right now. Shut the fuck up, Alan. I'm not going to your... I was just fucking there! Alan, when I was on top of the power cable, you had nothing to say. But as soon as I make it back fucking home, Alan's like, oh, hey, by the way, you, that's probably really important. You should probably really go there. You son of a... Fuck. I'm sick of this fucking game already, and we're on day 42-ish. Fuck my life. <sighs> well, that's a sign as good as any that we have to make progress in this story. 
I went off to find the Delta Station Tower, but got lost for the nine millionth time in this playthrough. I never get any wiser to it, but if you're planning on playing this for yourself, I recommend putting beacon markers fucking everywhere. Because this ocean is somehow so small, yet so easy to get lost in. Like, how did I even get here? I eventually did find the dock and ran up to the Delta Station to the left, which was apparently there the whole time, and my dumbass just overlooked it, like, back on day five. Oh, fuck you. Could I have done this from the very beginning of the game? Is this a locker that holds more things? I found the stupid satellite tower from Mangrove. I ran up there, put the thingy in, and shut her down. Hypothermia imminent. <laughs> All right, Altera, you win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> sure, whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. Mahjong gave me cords to her greenhouse where we chatted about lore that I don't care about. Day 48, I left to pee and almost died because I left the game on. Never healed myself so fast. I made the modification system, finally giving us the Ultra O2 tank and the thermal knife. Now with the Ultra Capacity tank, I was actually able to go rescue my prawn from 500 meters down, and we have Salad Daddy again. I also found Nickel. Yay. Day 49, a water butthole grabbed me. And the prawn is now finally back in my house. But now I have to go right back and grab the sea truck, because I left the sea truck there to go get it. Yay, backtracking! D50 and Alan won't shut I'm the fuck sure up. Is. But what else is Go new? Ahead, I set my sights on building the wet filtration suit next. It requires a couple plants from places I've never seen before, but luck was in my favor as I found the spiral plants inside this giant jellyfish, Jussie. No, I'm not sorry you had to hear the word Jussie. You welcome to Eclipse. And of course, I found another Roblox tower for Alan to admire. It had tons of diamonds around it, so I pocketed those because I'll need them for later. Day 51, I made the wet filtration suit upgrade. And my needy boyfriend, Alan, gave me yet another call. Sick and tired of Alan being a, such a needy girlfriend in this game. So now I'm off to find another artifact, and yes, I'm riding a jellyfish in my prawn suit, and I will thank you to respect that. The wetsuit now lets me reclaim water from my body into little bags, with a long tube coming out of them. And drinking that shit up like a Capri Sun helps me replenish water. One, useful. Two, Ew. Three, fuck Alan. On the same island that I found Alan's bullshit was a couple new things to scan, and this bridge. I have no way of crossing it till later, and if you watch the footage, I'm sure you can spot the hydraulic fragment that I didn't see and thus didn't scan. So my dumbass will be coming back here very soon. <sighs> if you would have told me that the sea anemones that in that one special cave with the artifact were gonna be needed, I would have grabbed some. Now I gotta go all the fucking way back. Speaking of things I missed, to make a piece of Alan's body, we now know that you need hydrochloric acid. Not a problem, right? Well, the only place to get that ingredient is in the fucking place I died with the prawn suit. So yay me, heading back. Day 53, I got it. God damn it, there's more backtracking in this game than in Twilight Princess. Still love you though, Twilight Princess. Best sell the game, fight me. Got the fucking amoeba, and now we can continue. Day 54, I have everything I need to make the grapple upgrade for the prawn. And if this doesn't turn me into Spider-Man, I'm gonna lose my shit. I went to craft the upgrade only to find I'm out of lead. Every fucking time. Oh, one, one ingredient, it's always one ingredient that I'm missing. Fuck! I got the lead and now all I need is salt, which I can't find either, but I need that for fish and not for the prawn suit, so it's okay. Shut up, Alan, 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 shut up, Alan. Grapple arm, finally. Yes, we do Spider-Man through the sea. This is acceptable. And honestly, I love every bit of this shit. Favorite part of Subnautica below zero so far is that I can Spider-Man through the water. Day 56 and fine, I'll go find Alan's thing. Is it just me or is this game getting really repetitive? 
It's almost like the entire gameplay loop is really one note. <gasps> oh, sorry. Almost made a criticism about a game. I better go back to talking about dicks and cum. I scanned the thing, got the blueprints, dicks cum. Yeah, you think I'm scared? No, this is this is the part of the story where EQ grows balls. Come come back come back here. There we go. I need you you aren't dying. How much health do you have? Oh, and he ran off. Yeah, you better run, fucker. I won't be too nice next time. God damn it, how do you kill these things? One thing that's starting to feel fresh about this game is now the prawn suit. The more upgrades you get, the larger your arsenal of weaponry and maneuvering, making me warm to the idea that killing a leviathan is actually possible. I made that goal before ever loading up the game for the first time, I just thought I'd wing my way into it and looks like we might be able to. Of course, since I didn't scan that hydraulic at this point, I'm lost. I spent the day looking through audio logs about Sam, Robin's sister, see, no one cares about the lore, to see if they knew anything about Altera and where to go next. Nothing. I read so much and there was literally nothing of use. This is why I use the wiki. You, you, you see you see why now? Like you might have been bitching at me before, but now I actually tried to learn the way the game wants you and there's nothing here. The wiki says to activate the bridge, you need to get the hydraulic, scan it, build another one. God fucking damn it. Day 58, I went right back there, found the ruptured hydraulic, of course. It gave me a recipe to go make it. At this point, I really wish I found the modules to add to the sea truck so that I could expedite this, but I couldn't locate any of them except the aquarium, and I don't think fish are gonna help me build a fucking hydraulic. I found the gel sack we need for building the hydraulic, and jump scare! Fever, grandma, pick up the phone. With a Geiger counter in my bone! Holy fuck! Saul, son of a bitch, he rammed his face into, like he missed, like dumbest bitch alive. He totally fucking missed, but what the fuck, dude? Day 59, putting the hydraulic in, opens the bridge and lets on foot to the rest of the island. People that know this game know what's coming up. It was recommended that I make a snow fox to properly traverse this place. When looking up where the snow fox is, I found it to be in this island. Well, enjoy EQ getting scared shitless. Alan, I am dying of hypothermia. I don't want to hear about the cool creatures over to the left. I'm stuck. Alan, maybe you can send some of that really cool alien technology to give me a little bit of a little, little bit of a warm. I'm, I'm dying, Alan. Alan, fuck it. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Go, go. Oh, fucking Alan, dude. Useless. <laughs> it's a little cold. Whoa, 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 penguin. Big ass penguin. Going in a cave. Going in a cave. There's a big ass penguin. Alan, why the fuck didn't you warn me about that? And it, ah, uh, Alan, here's your shit. Here's your, you, have, you fucking feel better? We found your dumb fucking sight. Holy shit. Why would that happen? Alan, we need to stop talking about your people right now because I'm about to be bangers and mash on the floor. Am I supposed to kill that thing? I've got this little dinky ass thousand degree knife from a fucking 2017 YouTube thumbnail and a dream. Hypothermia imminent, that's not good. I don't have anything to fix that. Stab yourself with the knife. Uh-oh. I really think... Oh, there's a cave. Oh, no! The screen's completely white. Did I die? You died. Fuck! Okay. Oh, no. you want to call me now. From a drive I will, for something I will go there, Alan. There's I'm not done point. yet. Sam, the, I the died before that. finding the last one, and Alan's talking about how it's hopeless now. He gives up. I've never heard an alien be so depressed. He sounds like he's done. Like, he gives the absolute fuck up. Excuse me, Alan. I'm shoving fevered peppers up my ass, and we're going. All right? We're not done. I got shit to find, Alan. The main mechanic of this section, besides fuck off death worm, 
with no health, by the way. I looked up, you can't kill that thing. Anyways, the main mechanic is not to freeze to death, either finding caves or geysers or flowers that will heat you up before the blizzard takes you. You could also eat these peppers, and if you eat one, it gives you like 40 temperature, whatever. So I shoved as many heat peppers up my ass as I could and kept running. Day 60, I stumbled my way back to where I was, picked up my old shit, and found the architect tissues part two of Alan's body. Now there's more important things on this island. So as much as I'd like to bitch off back home, we've got to keep going. Oh, he's running from the worm too. Oh, this dude's also scared of the worm. You know what? That's fair, buddy. Big vibes, big vibe hours. I am also pissing, shitting and coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you just eat it, dude? Oh my god! He ate the dog! He ate the fucking dog! I found this wide cave entrance, and I wasn't prepared for what I was about to uncover. Wait, is this more, Alan? Alan, you didn't tell me there was cum zone too! What the fuck is the teleporter? Insert ion cube! Thank god I'd never leave home without him! Do I walk through this? Do I, do I, do I, am I allowed to walk through? I'm gonna scan you first. Day 61, after stepping inside the portal, I found a snow fox pad and pieces to the Pathfinder and snow fox. A little late for that, but all right, thanks. And in this place are veins of magnetite. I made sure to pick them up because they are one of the rarest ores in this game. Wandering through this place, I eventually found a security bunker built into the ice. There were a couple PDAs about an alien creature, but nah, I'm sure it's nothing. Oh, thanks, Alan. It's like, I sense death here. Yeah, thanks, Alan. I sense death here, Alan. I sense death here. I sense death here. I sense a big lot of doom. I can't crouch in this game. I want to crouch for dramatic effect. I just have to hold this now, really. Uh. Is this a no? I don't need a second scanner. No. No, I have the investigation of the fire excavation site, including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic. The goal is now to cure that fucking thing, apparently. In the first Subnautica, you do something similar. You synthesize a cure, I think, and I assume you do the same here, but you don't. And I'll get to that in a minute. Because from here on, I hate this game. I hope you're ready for the most bitching that I've ever done in a video. Day 63 through 64, I got lost. Here's a time lapse of me wandering, trying to find the way back home or forward to the next piece of shelter. Remember, if I'm out in the cold for too long, I perish. I'm running low on peppers, and the ones I do have are starting to expire, and I just can't find the way out. After finding the big leviathan creature thing, the terrain becomes a fucking maze, and I hate mazes. I keep finding little pods of food and water that I can't even pick up now because my inventory is so full of magnetite, and I can't afford to lose magnetite because it's so valuable. Then this ends up happening. I'm just gonna show you the raw, unedited footage of the bullshit that happened to me. Hypothermia imminent. <laughs> oh no. Oh, fuck off. I hate this game. Come on! It's 
If I die here, I'm so fucking pissed. Man, fuck you, Subnautica! Day 65 through 67. All right. It's time for me to bitch. I'm sorry for what you're about to hear. All right, so fuck this fucking game, right? They make a crazy maze-like section that you're designed to get lost into, hold the most important material to fucking win, we'll get into that in a moment, and if you stay in the sections too long when you don't know where you're going, you fucking die. Now that's not even the worst of it. I can't progress without more magnetite, so I spent the next two fucking days going back for it. Here's a speed up while I bitch about the worst part of Subnautica Below Zero. I have held my tongue for too long Finding anything in this game is fucking garbage. Okay, look, I get the whole you gotta explore to find shit and earn it. I get that. But when you make mandatory finds put in random obscure locations that are either near impossible to find without a guide like the wiki or so incredibly easy to overlook, you create a gameplay loop of just going in circles, looking for the one thing you didn't find that you need to progress. The game doesn't even try to like highlight them or something like other games do. And with a map as vast as the fucking ocean of this game, it's so hard to find anything without a guide. Hold on to this thought. I'm not done yet. We're about to reach a fever pitch in just a few days. I'm gonna throw myself in the sea. And that's not some bullshit one-off joke, by the way. No, 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 no. We're on eclipse. It's either full ass or no ass. I took myself to the nearest ocean because of this and threw myself in. Day 68, I began to ponder. Not about the game bullshit mechanics, but about tradition. See, if you didn't know, every 100 days, regardless of game, on the 69th day, I make a sign to commemorate that day. And usually, I've played exclusively Minecraft. Only problem, this isn't Minecraft. So how am I gonna build a sign to commemorate the greatest day of all time that's better than the shitty tiny ones that the builder gives you? I actually called one of my friends up who loves Subnautica and he gave me the best idea. I spent the whole day getting tons of titanium because day 69, I built the fucking 69 sign. How? Out of pipes that sit just above the ocean and you can shape and move and hover however you wish. It took all day to get this to look right. Sometimes it was too small, on the wrong z-axis, but at the end of the day, even though it's not Minecraft, I managed to make a fucking 69 sign. Bask in its really thin glory. It almost brings a tear to my eye. And another thing we do on this channel, y'all heard it earlier, but I'm out of space again, so cue the speed up, it's organization. I spent the next three days making so much space. Honestly, because the Eagles game was on at the time and I needed to decompress from the fiasco in the blizzard. But in the time, I made so much goddamn space that it's beautiful. I have room for anything and everything all of the time. And now that I'm more composed with more level-headedness, I've had time to calm down, but I'm still not done bitching because I'm not done with that blizzard yet. Day 74, we still have to cure that Leviathan. I didn't craft a cure while I'm back here or anything. We just have to go back to that Leviathan with a pangling spy. I've never talked about them because I thought they were just a cool bonus for completionists. See, if you get a pangolin spy bot and hook it up with this remote, you can control it and get in special crevices that have little veins of cool ores like diamond, ruby, even magnetite sometimes, that, like I found here. Now, to my knowledge, the game says nothing about the cure to the Leviathan just being hidden in one of these fucking things. The integral item to continue and finish the game is literally right here. Watch. Ah, <sighs> the big thing to cure the virus of the deadly big ol' fishy is just chilling in a pangling spot. And that, that really upsets me. I don't like how that is designed whatsoever. Because the way that these have always been, you know, the, the way that these have come across to me is that they're little bonus sections. You know, if you brought a little pangling and you have inventory space, you could do that. Guess who never has, it's just chilling open. 
Sam must have stashed this here. Fucking why? She never even mentioned that in her logs. How was I supposed to know? Ugh. Imagine if this thing self-destructs, blows up the antidote, and that's it. The game's over. Fucking stupid, man. Yeah, we get it. You're cold. Take the antidote for the car virus. Fucking Christ. I don't care if you disagree with everything else I've said from this video. That's fine. But I refuse to think this is anything but garbage game design. Ugh. And to drive my point home even further, I don't even have this scripted out. This is just off the top of my head. When you pick it up, she's like, wow, Sam must have stashed this here. So you'd think maybe it's in Sam's logs. I have read Sam's logs six times. There's five of them. I've read all five. And she says nothing about the fucking cure being in a random pangling spy spot. If I didn't have the wiki, I would never have known. Fuck this game. With the antidote, we go over here, stab the dead fish, and we've completed Sam's work. Now Robin's got some closure. Let's build Alan a body. Day 76 through 80 is another clump of days because I spent this time preparing for the end game. During the Leviathan with the last setup to begin the final arc, so to speak, of this game, fixing Alan. So in these four days, I wanted to get all the upgrades I needed to finish this like stuff to turn the sea truck into its actual floating base, which I searched for a long time and even found a lot more parts, but the important things like the fabricator room, I could never find the last piece of. I did learn, however, that the prawn suits and sea trucks cannot even do the end game right now. They can't go low enough and will far explode before we get to where we need to go. So I need more upgrades. And to do that, I need kyanite. I just felt some of you shudder. Kyanite is only found in the crystal caves, and that sounds all fine and dandy. One of the only places I haven't traversed a... One of the only places I haven't traversed, let alone found yet. So I took the sea truck with a Mark II upgrade. We need Mark III to go really far, but it's probably fine. Down into the crystal caverns, and immediately I find a prawn suit propulsion arm and torpedo arm fragment on the ground, starting my research to those blueprints. Oh, and I found this. Torpedo arm, prawn suit, you've been holding out on me. Ah, there you are, a piece of kyanite. And whatever that was. Oh shit, we are in the beast's lair. I'll be leaving now. I greatly apologize for disturbing you, good sir. No, I can't leave. I don't have the fucking blueprints. I need this torpedo arm. No, I can't leave. You're gonna have to suck it up, whatever creature exists in his lane. And that's fine. You exist in your lane, I'll exist in mine. Proceed with caution. A Leviathan class creature is near. Oh, really? Where could that possibly be, PDA? Where could that thing possibly be? A Leviathan creature? No. That is a shadow Leviathan. They protect these crystal caves and something tells me she's not a huge fan of me being down here. I grabbed as much kyanite as I could, then turned around to leave and... Wait, it was right here, right? The exit. Oh, shit. Oh no, it's just another propulsion arm. There's just thousands of propulsion arms. Shit! Not again! We can lift that! We eat these! We eat these like it's eating me! Yep, 12! Please go away now. This is safe. Feel very good about this. Uh, 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 battery. Come on, get to at least 60. We need you to get- This is so dumb and not safe at all! Now I'm running from the Shadow Leviathan, wandering around in a blind panic trying to find the exit, and icing on top... I get a phone call. No! No, Alan, you're fucking with me. You're fucking with me. Alan, no! Alan, there's not. Alan, there's not! Alan, no, I don't even have the Mark III upgrade yet. Alan, no! I'm working on fixing that. Alan, you've gotta be fucking joking with me. 
Oh, fuck off. You hungry? Yep. With a combination of repairing, recharging, and trying desperately not to go under hull damage depth, I made it out alive, and I'm now certain we're fucked if the last parts of Alan's body are down there. So I went home, used the Kyanite to upgrade my prawn and sea truck for their final descent, but pump the brakes. I know this game's been fucking me over a lot, but I will not let it deter me from my fucking goal of killing one of those leviathans. Or will it? Day 83, I'm stocking up on water and food. Oh! Thank you, friend. Can you find Nickel? Ah! Oh. Thank you, Sea Monkey. What the fuck? That's a homie. And day 84, I know in hindsight I should have done this earlier, but hindsight is 2020, and I didn't want to use the wiki to just win everything right off the bat, even though I should have. Because day 84, I picked up two important sea truck pieces that I missed the horsepower upgrade an overall speed upgrade, and the afterburner upgrade, aka turbo boost. Yeah, that wouldn't have been helpful. No, I don't know, back on day 10. Day 85, I found the other piece of the horsepower upgrade in a different sea monkey cave. To the game's credit, I was kind of deterred from going to these caves before because the sea monkeys didn't like me, but halfway through the game, you get a little ping saying that their opinion of you has changed. So maybe that's intentional that I didn't find these till later. Day 86, I'm making those upgrades and slapping them on the sea truck just to see how broken they fucking are. And just see for yourself I what I, I was missing that. out on. The last thing we need to knock a leviathan upside the head were torpedoes. Only problem being, when I was down in the crystal caves, being mauled to death by shadow leviathans, I didn't manage to find the second fragment of the torpedo piece for the prawn, so I can't make that arm. I do have the depths upgrade now, so I can go down a little bit further, and since I infused my prawn and sea truck with kyanite, I reluctantly snuck back into the crystal caves, found a torpedo arm and my friend, and ran away so fucking fast, but I was chased into a corner anyway, and this happened. And it's already back for more. Well, that's just unlucky. You can't catch me, bitch! We're stuck! You're stuck! You suck! You bitch! You're a bitch! You're a bitch! You do oh, Is it really just stuck? Do you get bored? If I had a torpedo right now, could I just kill the fuck out of you? I don't! I don't even have a gun! But look at this dude! Look at this dude! Up, EQ, get your thumbnail shot! <laughs> I'm so sorry! I, I, I looked at my inventory and he got offended. Day 88 through 90, I started to build the torpedoes. The only ones you can make are gas or vortex. Vortex being made from magnetite. And I had a couple to spare, never making the snow fox. I also stocked up on cured fish and water in these last couple days because I'm going to be busy and won't have a lot of time to make supplies at the end. It was also battery day. Woo battery day. I totally didn't Google where to get more magnetite. I don't know what you're talking about. And it totally didn't send me to this icicle pussy in the middle of nowhere. And totally inside the ISO Z wasn't six magnetite. And now that I have 19 pieces of magnetite, I find out they're useless. Day 91, I was riding high. But just like all my experiences so far in Subnautica, it was all about to come crashing down. So I found out that both torpedoes don't actually hurt leviathans or anything for that matter. I tested it out on this guy, the main four-faced pointy dude that's been scaring the fuck out of me these past 100 days, and... They don't do anything. Naturally, I took to Google and it says, yeah, they don't hurt him. You aren't supposed to kill anything in this game. Unlike the first game where you had the stasis cannon and could use the thousand degree knife to just whack and slash, in this game, nothing. You're only meant to escape because the devs wanted you to feel small and scared in the world. But here's the thing, I'm EQ and I don't like feeling small and I don't like listening to rules. So I got to searching and I found some cheese that Cheese. That just might work for me to make this fucking game fun. Day 92, here's the plan. Okay, so the plan is really simple. We got we got the big old Leviathan dude, right? And we got we got me with my like grapple hook and we're gonna just and then we'll be on his back and I'm just gonna and then and then and, and then he's gonna and that's the plan, alright? So I took the prawn to the edge of the ocean with the grapple and drill arm. And once again, said hi to 
Yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce that. We're gonna call him Desmond. Desmond was my testing ground, even though I really wanted the blood of a shadow leviathan. I figured if I could prove my concept of grappling onto the back and drilling it while the AI struggled to spin itself around and do this for as many tries as it takes to get down the massive 5k health bar, we should be Gucci. Only problem with fighting Desmond was that he kept running off to the ecological dead zone. Yeah, remember that place? Fuck that. Look at that thing. That's called a ghost leviathan. And if I go near it, I'm fucking dead and everything around me is fucking dead. I dipped after more tries to kill Desmond. I probably got close, but he stopped coming near me and he just swam back in the dead zone. That's okay though. My real fight is with a shadow leviathan. So once they got to the end of the shit, they went to kill a leviathan. Woo! Soon may the weatherman come to finish this project cause this game's kinda dumb. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll play this finale -o. So, as if I could ever find a better cue, I suited up, grabbed all the food and health kits I could need, took out me me recharge batteries, no, took out my recharge batteries that I'll need for the repair gun, and with the drill in one hand and grapple in the other, I made my way back to the Crystal Caverns for one more shot at that sweet, sweet Leviathan ass. I want to try a couple things with this fight. Where you at, friend? You know, last time I was in here, I couldn't get away from you. Now I... Found you. Well, shit. This is the strat. Get away from the mouth, hopefully. Hitbox, please. These crevices he can't seem to get into. Which is very useful for me. Because I could just heal this fucking thing. Do a bit of damage to him. Wait for him to circle back because he's not going to leave this cave. So you know what? It's a battle of attrition and I need some Leviathan blood. Where you at, bitch? Oh, fuck you. Yeah, on your back. No, this is below the back. I'm, uh, I'm letting go. I can't get his fucking back. Ugh. Alright, whatever. Back in the crevice. Fucking scared me. Dickhead. Come on, in. Can't get him, bitch. But you're gonna try, aren't you? Come on. Keep trying. Come on, grab the back. Damn it! You are a slippery snake! Uh, that's not great. Yes! Oh, bleed him. Oh, bleed him dry. Oh, bleed him dry! Oh, you dumb bitch! Oh, you dumb bitch! Oh! Oh, I'm fucking him up. I am fucking up the Shadow Leviathan right now. I am absolutely rolling their ass. Wait, is he aggro? Can he not get to me? Is he stuck? No way this is GG's. No way this is GG's. That fucking uh, mouth is doing mouth things. He's aggro. He wants to bite me. But he's fucking stuck. What you got, bitch? What you got, Shadow Leviathan, you big scary bad motherfucker? What, what, what? What's wrong? Nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing. <laughs> Subnautica, make a better next game to where I can actually legitimately fight these and don't have to do this. But I am going to accomplish my 100 days goal if it fucking takes breaking the fuck out of this game. I don't care. You will die, Shadow Leviathan. Damn, you have a lot of health. Well then. This is awkward. I'm just gonna... Just keep rambling, I guess, till you die. Huh. 
So, yeah, I know you're angry. What, what, what life decisions do you think has brought you to this point, Shadow Leviathan? What, what, what moves did you make that may have been missteps? Was it biting my entire fucking face off when all I wanted to do was grab a propulsion arm? Was it being in the end game at all? Was it maybe being the biggest douche nozzle to ever get free? Oh, it's dead. It's not free. This is a dead bitch. It's key. It's forcing me out of my prawn. What the fuck? It's dead. It's dead. It's fucking dead. It's fucking dead. Shadow Leviathan murdered. Top text, bottom text. It's dead. I've killed that. If that's not worth a like and subscribe, I don't fucking know what is. But I'll admit, that's a little anticlimactic. You should still subscribe though. I mean, hey, you made it all this way, but for a game where you're not even supposed to stand a chance against these fuckers, I'll take what I can get. Now let's build Alan a fucking body so he can get out of my head and I can end this video. Day 96 through 99, the finale. I dropped lower than I had ever before, finding tons of kyanite crystals. In the middle of the crystal cave was a giant cavern taking me well below 800 meters. Once I got down there, I had to trek on foot into a very familiar site, the architect room. In this room was a copy of Alan's organs, which upon scanning gave me all the knowledge I needed to complete his body. And now I just have to make it. I was told by Alan that there's a special oh, no. fabricator type machine at the bottom of those red crystal caves I found earlier by mistake. So after going back up, Margaret, I'm somehow to found the game. Mandalorian's base again, I said hi to her for old time's sake and found the last piece of her lore, which I didn't care about, swiftly went back home and took out all the components I needed to make everything for Alan. Synthetic fiber, polyaniline made from hydrochloric acid and other stuff, an ion cube, multiple for good measure, and tons of other little things riddle my inventory, and of fucking course I'm missing one goddamn item. Luckily it's in the sea monkey cave, so I quickly swam over, grabbed the root pustules, and then made everything for Alan's body. And with everything in tote, I jumped back into the crystal caves and headed for my final descent. While looking for the Fabricator Caves, that's what Alan called them, not me, I ran into a little trouble with the Shadow Leviathan's brother. Let's just say he wasn't happy that I killed his sister. I managed to escape the brotherly love and found the Fabricator Caves where yet another Leviathan lay. This is Mommy. The Mommy gave me one more kiss for good measure and I broke my way into the Architect Fabricator. If you made it this far in the video, I assume even if you know the story by heart, you'd still feel robbed if I didn't give you this. So I'm gonna shut up and let Alan take it away. Here's the lore you fuckers have all been waiting and for. We can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. So Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist, like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next component. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect- Alan's about to betray the fuck out of us, dude. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Commence installation using fabrication. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. Damn, Alan. 
you got it going on. Commencing days of Charleston. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Whoa. What's up? Hey. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But? It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out. Affecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. I was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Day 100, we finally made it. I left the Crystal Caves, dodging the shadows one last time, and found a secret base next to Alan's ping, which was really close to my base and had so much scannable shit. If I knew this was here the whole time. You're not in my head. You're not in my head. That's not, you can't do that. You cannot actually. It cannot talk to me. Water filtration machine. Oh, oh, glad I find this on day fucking 100. Good. Really nice. Lantern tree. Lantern fruit. God damn it. Let's finish this. I ran to the gateway, rebuilt the portal with Alan. This looks fucking sick, by the way. And thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and I'll see you all in the next one. So when we fucking now a bad time to ask? I'll wait till we're in the air. There. If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of ten thousand souls to me. you make a hundred days in Subnautica. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm done.